All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today and I'm back with another video here at the Flyers. Pick up a 5-2 win over the Anaheim Ducks here in game 45. A really fun game. Uh, very exciting, very much better than yesterday. Uh, the lines in this one go back to what they were before the game against Boston, uh, besides the mid-switch in, in the middle of the game. Yesterday, Van Riemsdyk with Frost and Tippett, Faraby with Cates and Konechny, Hayes with Lawton and Allison, Delorier with Brown and McEwen, Provorov and York, Sanheim and D'Angelo, Sealer and Ristolainen, and Sam Erson in net. So first period, it was pretty much all Flyers for the most part. They had a lot of chances to score. Um, it probably should have been 2-3-0. Frost had a really nice pass for York in front, uh, Konechny. Tried for pro round in the slot, but it ended up getting broken up. It was a pretty good look in the slot. Faraby could have gotten hooked here. It was a partial breakaway at the net. It was a shot off the rush. Uh, game was pretty open compared to yesterday where everything was just clogged up from the Bruins red line and back. Flyers just had no room to do anything because that's how good Boston is, and it was just completely different tonight. Flyers will get a power play here, though. Tip it. Draws a hooking call. They couldn't really get much going. Uh, Lawton had a pass for Tip it cross ice. Through the seam, it was completely sealed up. Uh, Van Riemsdyk had a chance in tight off of a pass by Hayes, but outside of that, it ends up getting killed off. Uh, Flyers will get two power plays here. Delay game on the Ducks, and then Frost draws a trip. And Hayes, on the 5-on-3, Hayes made a play where he tried to get the puck through, and it gets blocked, and Comtois has a breakaway the other way. So he misses the net, and Hayes and the Flyers come all the way back down. They set it back up. D'Angelo over to Hayes, waits, fires, shoots it, scores. one nothing. It was a really bad 5-on-3 before that. The Flyers really didn't get anything too crazy set up. Um, unfor you know, thankfully, they were able to get it back. Not unfortunately. Thankfully, they were able to get that back. Uh, and Hayes was able to uh, to tuck that one off of his mistake. James and Reeves, like had like three or four chances to get his first goal ever against the Anaheim Ducks. He had a chance off the rush. It was a really nice pass by Sanheim. Uh, had a pass late from Tippett in tight and missed that one. Before that, there was a fight with McEwen and Comtois. But outside of that, really good period. Flyers should have been up 2-3-0 to three, nothing, like I mentioned. Unfortunately, they were not. Had a power play to start the second. Farabee gets high-sticked. Uh, it was a really good power play. They had a handful of looks. Uh, a couple chances for Konechny. Faraby, D'Angelo, Tippett as well. And unfortunately, a couple minutes later, the Ducks would tie the game. Henrique scores in tight. Tippett got hit before that, and no one really got back. It was just a, a broken, like, 3-on-2, 3-on-1 rush, and Urson was kind of left out to dry. D'Angelo was the only defenseman back. Played it as best he could. Henrique would tie the game. A uh, couple really nice plays here. Ristolina with a huge hit. Then there's a penalty on the Flyers. It was a tripping call. And we're still in score shorthanded. Lawton with a really nice feed to him. I personally thought it was offside uh, when it happened because we're still skating really fast. And Lawton was kind of like fading out a little bit towards the boards. It was not. It was onside. Passes it over. Nice shorthanded goal of the season for the Flyers. We're still in its first goal of the year. Scores back in on the uh, breakaway. And uh, Morgan Frost. Disgusting move. Disgusting. Just absolutely gross. And he scores in tight between the legs. I, I had a feeling Frost was going to score tonight. I tweeted it out, like, mid-first period. I'm like, he's scoring tonight. He's 100% scoring tonight. Gorgeous goal. It, again, it was a really good period. I thought, you know, once the Flyers got the shorthanded goal and they got the goal back, they just the game just kind of settled down for them. And Frost would add one, and then they go into the third. Hayes scores in tight. It was a really, really nice pass from Allison to get it to Lawton. A uh, beautiful pass from Lawton as well, and that was Hayes' second of the game. Allison had a chance in tight after that. Hayes hit the post, could have had a hat trick there. Uh, the Frost line had a really good shift um, before that as well. And uh, unfortunately, you know, that line could have had at least maybe three or four goals tonight. I thought that line was one of the best lines of the game for the Flyers. Really, really good. Just just overall, it, it, just from the jump too. I mean, like, like off of, you know, coming out of yesterday... You kind of wanted a, a rebound, and you wanted a different type of game. And for the Flyers tonight to come out and just play the right... All they did was just play the right way. I mean, they were they took advantage of, of the Ducks' mistakes. They were able to score a couple goals. 
Um, you know, and, and, and it just shows the difference, too, between the Flyers and Anaheim. I mean, I, again, I never thought we were a Bedard team. I've said that for a while now. Um, unfortunately, the Ducks would score on a power play here. It was a, a hold on Delorier. Flyers had a couple of chances shorthanded, connecting and Faraby. Um, they didn't score. Vitrano would score of a shot uh, from Shattenkirk that he deflected in. And then Hayes would get the, the empty net goal. Uh, his first career hat trick, obviously going to the All Star game in a couple of weeks. And uh, Flyers win 5 2. Again, it was a really good game. I thought Hayes played well. I really liked Allison over the last handful of weeks. He's, he's definitely come together with that line. I feel like Wade is kind of getting into a rhythm now. And, and you know, I, I think a lot of this is credit to Torts and, 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 Shaw and, and, and Rocky Thompson. I mean, they, they've done a good job of keeping these same lines together. I do think the Flyers' power play could be improved. I think there's been some areas where it has been. It's just consistency. I will say, though, Brad Shaw has done a great job with first alignment. Like, he's turned him into a better defenseman. For the last handful of weeks, I think, outside of Cam York, I honestly argue that first alignment is their number one or has been playing like their number one defenseman. Um, he's not their number one, but he has, he's been playing that way. And just overall, I mean, he's not making those plays where he take, you know, lays the body and takes himself out of the play. He had the really big hit tonight, comes back. He, he it seems like he knows when to go for the for the a play for offense or not. It just seems like he's been focusing more on defending, and that's been the one thing with first the line in where like he can kind of get all over the place and he's nowhere in position sometimes. Uh, and unfortunately, when he was thrown to the Wolves, you know, in Buffalo, and, and they, they did the same thing with Dalin. Finally, he's starting to kind of get out of that. Um, but, he, you know, it, it, it didn't help him. And, and for his hockey sense, obviously everybody talk talks about that and everything. And um, It didn't look like the Flyers were going to have the same lineup in this one because Provorov doesn't participate in warm-ups uh, because it was confirmed tonight that, Torts confirmed it that Provorov sat out of warm-up uh, because he did not want to wear the uh, Pride jersey, and Provorov cited his religious beliefs. Um, Provorov can, again, he can really, can he can do whatever he wants. He doesn't have to. He obviously has a choice of what he, if he wants to believe in that or not. Um, for me, I I like, the, I, I, I enjoy the Pride stuff. Uh, I, I think it's really good that the NHL does it. Um, for, I've always kind of been, you know, you should be able to live the way you want to live. And that's kind of where I, I view it. Um, and it's not, I don't think it's pro Rob. It's not, uh, that's just, that's just more my stance. Um, but you know, pro Rob ends up playing in the game and, you know, some people will ask, well, oh, well, didn't they do this before they've done pride night before, but they haven't done jerseys. They've done the stick tape or, or, or different things. Um, where they haven't actually done a jersey. There's been other teams that have done like the Heritage Night jerseys and things like that for warm-ups, and they've been just an Adidas practice jersey, and they've kind of changed them a little bit. The Flyers had the the uh, the all different colored numbers um, and things like that, but you know, just things like this. Uh, it's it it's unfortunate. Um, again, I'm not trying to harp on Pro Rob. He's allowed to to believe whatever he wants to believe. Not everybody is is for that stuff, unfortunately. Um, but it is what it is, and, and, you know, the Flyers, they pick up a uh, 5-2 win. Let me uh, let me know your guys' thoughts below. Uh, remember to check out the podcast coming up. Um, Craig Berube and Nick McElwain uh, for that one. That'll be episode 23, January 27th, the Friday night at 8 p.m. here on YouTube. going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for that. Recorded with Craig Berube this morning. Going to be recording with Nick on Thursday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody, so much. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button down below. We'll be getting up there in the last handful of days. Uh, I believe last time we looked, we were like 4, I think like 1463 around there. So it's been it's been real good lately. Thank you, thank you all again. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I will talk to you all again soon.